It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got another beer from Malta. It's from Lord Chambry Brewery and it's their Blue Lagoon coming in at 5% ABV. The beer is described as a blank beer, which means a white beer. German style whip beer, I imagine. We won't know for sure until we get it out. I'd like to thank Neil Long for getting us these beers while he was on holiday in Malta. Um, I reviewed the San Blas, their lovely IPA. It was a really good beer. Um, it was it was great to speak to the guys from the brewery. Look at that smoke on the opening. Over in Malta, they watched the review. Wow. And it's great to see passion for beer, craft beer, going all over the world. It really is the momentum for beer at this moment in time, 2014, is as big as it probably has ever been. Um, it's exciting to be involved, to, to review these great beers and to brew these great beers with, with breweries from around the world also. So, beer in the glass. That looks great. Lovely carbonation, lovely light straw coloured ale. The clarity is fantastic, a very clear beer and it's got a two finger white head. Let's get the aroma. Yeah, totally German white beer, whip beer. Smells like a Saison, uh, a Saison? It smells a little bit like a Hefeweizen as well. There's a little bit of kind of banana and clove in here. Also black pepper, spices. Smells great, looks great. Let's dive in. Cheers. Mmm. Oh, and the added twist of orange peel. It's nice and bitter as well on the back end. I wasn't quite expecting such bitterness, but it's a welcome addition to the beer. It really does give it a backbone, a solid, solid feel, a solid taste. There's a lot of that white pepper up front. And then a nice kind of orange, fruity, lemony middle. Coriander. Bit of clove. And then that lovely orange peel on the back end. And then bitterness. Great stuff, great stuff. As with all or most German Whip beers. I'm just going to polish this bit off. The tradition, the style of beer is to get all of that sediment, all of that yeast into the glass. Now this should be a completely different glass of beer, the second glass. And I wanted to do this as a bit of an experiment for you guys. There you go. So, the first glass of beer. Lovely, that I mentioned the clarity was great. This is how it would traditionally be served. A lovely kind of cloudy, almost like a cloudy lemonade. Still got that great carbonation. Now if you're watching in Malta and you because I've had a lot of viewers in Malta watching the first review, let me quickly explain the second fermentation process if you guys are new to beer. If you're not new to beer, if you know beer, I won't take long, I'll be as quick as I can. Right, that first clear half 
was that the sediment in the bottle had settled to the bottom. Pardon me, gassing. What then happens is with the second half, you get all of that sediment into the glass. It won't harm you, it won't hurt you, it's full of vitamin D. I love it, I love the yeast. Sediment, yeast, same thing. Now, the reason why the brewer adds it is, look at that carbonation. Mm, come on, pick it up camera. Oh, there's a lot of carbonation in there. I've got to find it for you, I cannot. There you go, you can just make out that carbonation. From my eye, it's kind of, it's going along nicely. There's a lot of carbonation. Now, that is the second fermentation process. It's, there's yeast added to each bottle. A bit of sugar in each bottle, normally, just a pinch, brewer's sugar. And then that, that is the natural way to carbonate a beer. That's where you get that bubbles. It's not forced carbonated. It all happens in the bottle. If you want to know more, just Google second fermentation process or, or the fermentation process of beer. Read up on it and kind of enjoy it. Enjoy the love of beer. I'm going to carry on drinking. And it's a slightly different taste. It's just ever so slightly more full on. In that taste, I'm picking up a nice kind of bready biscuity note as well. But cracking stuff, cracking stuff from Lord Chambry. I believe that in their first year of brewing in Malta, it looks like, I could, I've looked at my channel numbers, I've looked at the, the stats from the video, and it's done very well. I think it's the third highest viewed video of the month, and we're only two weeks in, so, so it's doing very well. So there's interest in beer in Malta, um, a lot of people watched, I'm happy about that. Uh, so there's going to be a lot of support for the local brewery. So if you're watching, again, from Malta, go and check this one out, Blue Lagoon. It's very different from the Sand Blast, the IPA. This one, as I mentioned, is more clovey, coriander, orange peel. It's a bit more kind of seasonal going into the Christmas kind of rush, the Christmas season. It's a nice Christmassy brew, but at the same time, it can be drank all year round. This cold on a beach in Malta would be fantastic any time of year. Rating right then for the Blue Lagoon. I think it's got a lot of flavour. I think it's bold, it's big, it's powerful. It's not a bit of a kind of a whimper of a whip beer. Sometimes breweries can be accused of, especially when they brew to a German style, they don't quite go at it as much as they should. It's kind of a, it's not as kind of prominent, it's not as big, it's not as bold. This is a big, bold, exactly how it is German whip beer and it's nice it's very nice I'm going to give it I'm going to give it sorry a very solid 8 out of 10 it's an 8 out of 10 from Real Craft Beer put your comments in the comments box please subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers